This section heading is called adding the code. So now what we're going to do in this section is we're going to add our code to the login success.php file on line 38. So we're going to use nano with this plus option once again so we can specify where to place the cursor when the file first opens. So this is going to place our cursor on our PHP include statement. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace this PHP code with the code that we're going to put in in a moment. Now inside the lab, I'm instructing you to actually type this in. And once again, I've gone over to the text editor and I've already done this to save some time. So here's our original code that we started with that we ran. Notice that we replaced our echo statement with this include statement down here. So once again, we're storing that path inside of a variable called path, and now down here, we're putting that inside of these curly braces so we can actually get the value stored inside the variable, which again will give us the path. So we're going to be providing the absolute path to this file. So now I'm just going to copy this out, and then I'll come over here. So we can see that the file is not given a path over here. And because we're essentially using this include statement within the login success.php file, it's going to look for it in the same directory. So we're just providing the absolute path to here. And we're doing it kind of like in an automated way, right? So we're having the code or the program figure out the absolute path for the position of this file. So now I'm just going to do a control K, press enter, up arrow key, and then I'm going to right click to paste. So now we want to make sure that your syntax when entering in is correct. And the way that we're going to ver verify that is in the next step. So let me save and exit. So control X, Y to save, enter, and then I'm just going to minimize this. The way that we're going to verify that your syntax is correct is we're just going to log in. So if we see the post being displayed on the forum, then we know that the syntax is correct. So here we can see the post down here, and this lets us know that everything is good.